What's going on, Gifted Hands family? It is Elijah here bringing you another lesson. And today we are talking about D major harmony and theory. Everything related to D major. If you never played a song in D major, if you know how to play in D major, but you're looking for that extra sauce, that extra flair, we're going to talk about all that. We're going to cover it here today. All right, so let's jump right into it with D major. So if you want to get comfortable playing in D major, there's a couple essential things, essential things things theory wise that you need to know and then we can take from there all right so let's cover the basics first the foundation then we can move on to the to the nice stuff all right so first thing you got to know the major scale right always got to know your major scale for your key so our major scale for d major is going to be one two three four five six seven one all right so we have two sharps f sharp and c sharp that's it Alright, so after you get your major scale down, great. Then we're gonna move on to our diatonic chords. Diatonic chords just means that based off of our major scale has seven notes in a major, in any major scale, but for a D major it has seven notes, right? So based off of those seven notes, each note has a corresponding chord to it, and that is that those are the diatonic chords. So we need to learn these diatonic chords for D major. And that is the one chord, two, three. Four, five, six. Ooh, that's a little funky right there. Seven or seven, one. And we'll walk it down. All right. So we got our diatonic chords, the one through the seven. After we learn those, then we can kind of fast forward and move on to the next thing. Then the third thing that we got to learn, essential, the foundational, one of the foundational concepts for being able to play in D major is going to be our cycle of fits. Got this diatonic cycle of fits is kind of where we'll start off. Okay. And so all this is, it's a progression that takes you through, once again, all of these diatonic chords, but we're just going from chord to chord in a different order now. Versus the diatonic chords was one through seven, you know, and like in numerical order, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way back down. The cycle of fits kind of jumps around from chord to chord. So cycle of fits goes like this. We're in D major. We're gonna start on the two. So we're gonna go from the two chord to the five chord to the one chord to the four to the seven to the three the six and we just start over two five one four seven three six two five one four seven three six two five one four seven three six and we just keep going around and around and around and around and there's a bunch of different ways that you can play that cycle of fits there's um so many kind of different ways that we can change up the harmony but getting comfortable with playing that progression in d major starting simple because uh, i kind of played it a little bit uh a little bit more advanced like not super advanced but a little bit more advanced so just getting comfortable with playing that progression um, and bouncing from the two to the five to the one to the four to the seven to the three to the six and around and around and around we go getting comfortable with that is going to help you um, pretty much know all the chords that belong to our key of D major all right so after you learn those three things major scale your diatonic chords and then your cycle of fits those three then we pretty much should have a strong a super solid foundation of how to play in D major, right? So if you're playing pop, if you're playing R&B, even, you know, majority of your gospel songs are going to have those chords. That's going to be your base, your foundation. And then everything else beyond that is just extra, right? Um, so if you didn't know that, practice that. Start there. Get comfortable with those three things. Not just comfortable with them. Know them like the back of your hand. Be able to have them memorized. Be able to close your eyes and just be able to play them round and round and round, right? You want to have those three things locked in before you go into anything else. But if you already know all of that and you just want to be able to, you know, play outside of D major, like play some out chords, even though a song might be in D, you might want to play something out or something a little crazy or, you know, some passing progressions and passing chords. How do we do that 
in D major. So my suggestion is going to be not necessarily learn a bunch of passing chords and, oh, I can do this, I can do this, I can do that. Uh, an easier way sometimes to learn um, how to play the filler stuff, the extra stuff, is just by listening to songs, listening and learning advanced songs that have that stuff already in it. And so when you learn it in context and in a musical way, it makes more sense. And then you can figure out, okay, you can pull it from one song, apply it to your playing, add it to other songs that you may know, and just add it to the key as a whole, right? So, um, one song that's in D major that has some great, you know, chords, some great passing progressions, things like that that you can pull from is The Battle Is Not Yours or The Battle Is The Lord's. Yolanda Adams song, old school song. I think it came out like early 2000s or late 90s, something like that. But a great song. It's in D major. And it has some really great stuff that we can pull from it. So let's look at that, okay? And like I said, we don't have to necessarily create anything new, we can listen to this song, we can learn this song, and pull out some great things that are already in it. So, the song goes like this. Uh, the battle. All right, so that's kind of the song. Whoops. There we go. All right, so that's kind of how the song goes, right? So let's just walk through this song. We already know our basics, our foundational stuff for D major, right? So we're not gonna, I'm not gonna look at that, but I just want us to, to kind of take a quick overview of this song and figure out, all right, since we're already comfortable with the foundational stuff in D major, what could we possibly pull from this song that's not normal, or doesn't necessarily belong to D major? All right, so from the top. So even, man, the intro, I'm listening to the intro and it's, it's got some stuff uh, that I want to take away that you might want to learn, right? So uh, when they start the song off, they play a walk up. Now the bass is doing two, three, four, five, but the chords aren't diatonic, meaning they don't necessarily belong to D major. They've changed up, they've changed up the mode a little bit. So what do we have? We have this like real churchy walk up. We have a two chord, but now we're playing it as a half diminished. Three chord. Then we have our four chord played as a minor six. G minor six. Then we're going to the five, one over five. So we got a lot of inversions as well. We have some chords that we've, some diatonic chords that we've changed the kind of mode of the chord. And then we've inverted some of our chords as well and have some slash chords going on. So two, three, four, one over five. That's something that we can take. And then what do they do? They go to the two, but the two is dominant. So that's something else we can do. We already know that the two is supposed to be minor, but we can go ahead and make it dominant. Why? Because it's passing us to the five. All right, we're going to the five. And then we walk up five to the one. So. Uh, the, that walk up, five, six, seven, one. Shouldn't it just be five, six, seven, one? But they do something a little, a little different. They do five or one over five. The six is like a diminished chord. Seven is half diminished to the one. When we do a passing progression, we play the one, four over one, minor four over one to the one. And then along another walk up. So let's keep going. What else can we find? Two, five, uh, five over four. Um. Okay. So maybe that, that's something else we could pull out. What are their, they have 
this progression, we're trying to get to, I think, G major. They're trying to get to G major, which is the four chord, right? So they created a passing progression in this song. They did five, one, two, three, to get to the four. So we could pull that out. Five, sus, we're playing the five chord as a sus, not as a dominant or a major, but as a sus. Or like four over five. To the one. And then we're walking it up. Two, three, four. And we'll keep going. Two, five. Okay, so we got a, we got some other stuff that we can pay attention to as well, right? So. Let's see, let's see, where are we, where are we gonna take it from? All things were according. We do like a diminished walk or a diminished passing chord according to the masters. Perfect wheel. So there's a man, there's so many different walk-ups that we can take and we can pull from this song. Um, even like the at the end of the verse, I believe it is. We got that long, long, long walk up, which is let's let's break that down. Three. So pretty much all we're doing is we're playing a three chord as a dominant in D major. Three chord as a dominant. We're going up. To like this is like an E. I'm looking at it as E major over G sharp. So three, raise it. This is still my three chord. I'm just looking at it as a rootless. So all this is just over the three. A dominant three walk up, and then let's go to the six. And then they do a walk up on the six. So that's six minor. This seven chord, and then they go six dominant. That's what I like to look at it as B dominant, just rootless. And then we're going two, but half diminished, three, half diminished, four as a minor six to the one over five. So, yeah, there's a bunch of walk-ups in this song um, that we can pull out. There's passing chords. There's passing progressions. Um, we go outside of the key in this song. Uh, all, a lot of these chords don't belong to D major, but the song is in the key of D major, right? So I think one of the best ways to get comfortable, not only get comfortable playing in the key, but then to figure out what's next and how to take your playing to the next level in each individual key is to find challenging songs in the keys that you're trying to get comfortable with. So if you're not used to playing in D major or you just need some extra chords, you need extra passing progressions, you need that extra sauce in D major, check out The Battle Is Not Yours, It's The Lord's. Uh, actually, I just broke it down in my academy for all my academy members um, this week. It should be up and available. There's a chord chart, there's a MIDI file with the whole playthrough, I think like a three, three and a half minute playthrough. Um, and then as well as like a 45 minute lesson breaking down the entire song. But learn songs like this. Learn song, um, learn these types of songs that are gonna challenge you. Or even if this is not challenging, learn something else that's, that's gonna really stretch you to learn new chords, to learn new progressions. That's the way that you get comfortable playing in a key and not only get comfortable with it, but you can you know, take it to higher heights, all right? So this was just something quick. I wanted to break down D major for you all. I hope this helped. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if so, let me know in the comments below. And I will be back very, very soon with another lesson. Y'all stay safe, stay blessed, stay practicing, keep getting better at your craft. And I will see you very, very soon. Let's go.